All right, so now recording, perhaps it's just your practice recording, and we're going to add some music to make it better. This is something you may not know, but music is special. It controls the emotions of the person listening to your podcast. You can make them feel happy, sad, angry, excited, or huh, happy with a laugh. That's all up to you. You control that simply by putting in the kind of music that you would like. Now, in a podcast, we want to have something called a bumper. And these are bumpers. See, this is the back bumper, and this is the front bumper. The talking that you do is all at the body of the car. So you put music at the front, at the front bumper, and you put music at the back, at the back bumper. Now, there's a lot of different places to get music, but perhaps my favorite one is this website here, bensound.com. Maybe the guy's name is Ben, I don't know, but he likes sound. So it's easy to remember, Ben, like your friend Ben, his sound.com, bensound.com. And it has a whole bunch of different music that is uh, helpful if you want to figure out what emotion to give to somebody. So for example, the dubstep, let's play that for a second. So that's sort of modern and hip, right? It makes me think, yeah, this is going to be a podcast that is something about me because I am seventh grade and I'm modern and hip. Maybe it's uh, you're going to talk about movies or history. How about this one? So you can just imagine the soldiers coming as you're talking about a history podcast. Maybe you're talking about something that is fun, like animals. Maybe you're talking about a comedy, something to do with funniness. Maybe you are talking about something that makes people feel happy, like sleep and food. The point is, all of these songs will control the emotion of the person who's listening to your podcast. So you can use these for your bumpers. As you can see here, there's lots of different types, and they're free to download, and they're royalty-free, so you're welcome to use them. Some are paid for, but most aren't, so just use the ones that are free, and that'll be great. So shall we do it now? Good. All right, let's learn how to do that. So I'm going to go back to GarageBand here, and then I'm going to drag in or import in uh, the song. So I already put one on my desktop, and I'm going to go grab it and then I'm going to import it. So I grab it and I pull it across and I put it in a different channel. Remember this is the top channel here or top track I should say where your voice is and I'm gonna put the music here instead and it looks like I'm gonna to have to move it over right? So let me just move that over. I'll drag it and move it over and there it is at the beginning and then I'll probably move my voice over a little bit like this and maybe I'll make this so it's not quite as loud as the voice is so that you can hear my voice over the top. So you'll have to experiment with that. But let's play it and see what happens. So I'm going to go back here to the beginning and I'm going to hit play. See that? That is recording things that I'm saying. And you can see the level of the recording here. It's like I need to turn If down. I go up and talk louder, it goes up to yellow and sometimes almost red. Get how that works? So you will put your bumper in the front. And then you can add music in the back at the end of the podcast as well. Now, at some point, you might want to not have the music playing while you're talking. Maybe just have it at the beginning. And to do that, there's lots of different ways. But probably the easiest way is to go here to the end. And I can change the size and look of things here. Check this out. Like that. And then I can drag this over here. And then it will end right about there. All right? Got it? So give it a try, and best of luck. Remember, bensound.com.